Hi guys. Hey. So, uh, great movie, How to Train Your Dragon 2. Thank, Thank you so you much for much. this. Um, there's a lot of adult themes in this, and I'm wondering um, what you guys, how you think that's gonna resonate with like adults and kids when they're watching the film? Even the first one had a bit of a grown up tone and, and it surprised people with how dark that it got, but yet it never failed you on the action and adventure, you know, and I, and I feel like this is just richer. It never, for kids, I know a lot of kids have seen it already and they love it and adore it and you get sucked into that, that world. But I think for adults, there's so much there to keep you riveted and interested. And, and I don't even know if I would say it was adult themes or it was just family themes, you know, like yeah. themes that about how complicated families can get. Accurate. Uh, as opposed to just like, it's not, it's not all cookie cutter, you know. I mean, people can love each other and still disagree profoundly on certain things. And That's I think true. that... Uh, I think that comes up, and I think that that resonates with kids and adults. Absolutely, yeah. Kids, it's it's not like kids. It's lost on kids the more grown up parts of the movie. I think kids really, it's it's incredible how much they they take from the story. Agreed. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one uh, spawned over four hundred million in box office. It had uh, two Academy Award nominations. Um, I'm wondering. Uh, and it spawned all of these. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> best actor, best actor. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm wondering, um, it also spawned like all of this uh, this product. Are, uh, have you guys seen um, any mock-ups of you know of your action figures, or, or are you waiting for that? Or hey, what's that going on with the action? Yeah, wait, when are the action <laughs> figures <laughs> ready? Yeah, uh. that's what I want to know about. Like, are you like, and how are you enjoying seeing yourself as these characters? I mean, I know you're both actors, but literally, you're animated characters. How trippy is it to see yourselves like you know as these characters once they're done up? I don't think of it as being me. I, I mean, I uh, I think of it as being him, and I put the voice in. I, I, that's that's I, I don't. It's a kind of it's a different feeling. I, I don't I don't feel any sense of proprietorship with the character. Though okay. I, uh, it belongs. It's in the world uh, that it exists. It's not. It doesn't belong to me. It has nothing to do with you. I don't that's think so. Yeah. That's so. That's cool. How you know? I, I I've never even thought about it that deeply. <laughs> no. Right. No. I, but you get, it's funny because you get to know your guy, as do the audience, and right. you stop thinking of him like you. At times you go, oh yeah, that's my voice. Right. But I guess the, the, the biggest compliment you can pay yourself is that you just watch the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, oh, he's having a moment with Hiccup, or that's funny between the two of them. And you're not even thinking, that's me. Do you think it'll give Frozen a run for its money? Is Frozen, you're going down! That's what, that's that's what, what I meant. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's awesome. what you want, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, all right. Thank you.